Previously on The Pantsless Detective. That's Sergeant to you, Pantsless. The Pantsless Detective. In color. In a Smitty's Ransom. Act 2. Dog Days and Nights. Or the Yellow Dog Coos at Midnight. That's not how you spell ransom. No E. Oh, thanks. And passive voice is confusing in that context. You should make clear who does what to whom. Who does what to whom? Exactly. And have you considered a brow piercing? Take that brow from Neanderthal past Crow Magnon all the way to hipster douchebag. Now let's see what you got here. Okay, see what you want to do here little help here? I don't know. Just one arm so I can help you complete the note. Come on, one arm ain't gonna mount a hill of beans against your big burly pile of manhood. Okay. Great. Alright. Dollface. What'd you call me? We need a doll face to complete the note. Pantsus won't get it otherwise. Maybe we can find one in here. And you're gonna need to get some better glue. Without Smitty, I had to find someone to do my legwork. No way was I going to miss valuable porn surfing time. Luckily, Smitty kept the numbers of the up-and-coming junior detectives he had beaten out for his lucrative position as my unpaid intern. Top of the pile was a kid to which Smitty would occasionally throw a bone when he needed extra legwork. I made my way to the appointed place at the appointed time, but when I got there, I found I was alone. This kid was no Smitty. And surprisingly, it annoyed me. So, you got something for me, boy? How uh, so? I did some sniffing around. It turns out that Bruno Weisenheimer's not Schmitty because he figures that might encourage you to make a trade. And don't call me boy. Sorry. A trade? Uh, yep. For what? <laughs> Emphic all made off with something Bruno thinks belongs to him. Then she conveniently got away while you watched. I had a bear in my face. A stuffed bear? Pathetic loser. What was that? I said sympathetic bruiser. Oh. Bruno figures you two were in cahoots, so he's leaning on you to get back what's his. That's ridiculous. I haven't stepped foot in cahoots since they accused me of running a crooked canasta game. Not only don't I have what Bruno's on about, I have no idea what Bruno's on about. I'm just a messenger. That's what Bruno thinks, not me. By the way, word to the wise, and, and you too. Sergeant McAdams knows all this and believes it too. He'd dearly love to have you, Bruno's gang, and Femme all at once. And wrap this case up in a nice pretty bow. Silver, maybe, with gilt edges. McAdams always had an unhealthy fondness for frilly things. Right. Thanks. Oh, that's right. I'm forgetting something. Sorry about that. Smitty usually does this without treats. Or without a salary, for that matter. Still, this is good work, boy. What does Bruno think Pantsless has? Does the detective's treat fight tartar buildup? 
Can the thugs note past Miss Miller's fifth grade English class? Find out next time on The Pantsless Detective. Tune in next time for another exciting episode of The Pantsless Detective.